Hey guys, operations time again over here. We're gonna be uh, heading down to Huntington Beach, doing a little bit of uh, swapping and switching down there at, uh, uh, what is it, the lumber yard. And then we're gonna be uh, taking a few cars over to Samford and Son Salvage. Locomotive's already fired up, ready for us to go. Let's get out of here. And while we're doing this, we'll take a look at a few little things I've been working on at uh, on the layout. We'll pull on out over here and uh, go pick up our cars. They're sitting on the other track back there. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, that's why I got the flag over there at half staff. It's at about uh, oh, 11, 20 or so while I'm recording this. So uh, we're still at flag half staff. And if you don't know the way it works there for Memorial Day, when you display the flag, you, uh, you do it half staff until noon. And then at noon, you briskly I think that's the right term. Bring it back up to its uh, full position. And just to remember all the uh, all the service members that uh, have given their lives for our freedoms here. So I just wanted to take a moment there to acknowledge that. That's one little addition I did right there. It was a little flagpole. I've been wanting to do that for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. And I figured, uh, what better day to uh, put that on the layout than uh, Memorial Day. So, uh, I have been playing around with JMRI a little bit more. And uh, still got to get the kinks out of it. Uh, for instance, our two cars right here are uh, empties that are going down to a lumber facility. I gotta, I gotta tweak all that because uh, normally with that facility, what we do is we bring in uh, loaded cars. They empty them out over there and distribute it. But hey, we're uh, we're just going with it here. We're doing a, we're doing what we're told, and JMRI says. Bring those two empties down there. So maybe they're uh, maybe they're doing some pickups. Uh, they're loading those cars down there for uh, this weekend. I don't know. And then we got box cars. These two going down to uh, Samford and Sun Salvage. Normally, uh, I only uh, do gondolas in that area or in that facility. But I figured I'd throw in some boxcars too. It's a scrapyard. Who knows? Maybe they're getting a, I don't know. Bunch of refrigerators and things like that over there to grind up. All right, we'll catch these guys as they head into the layout. Like I said, uh, it's going to be a little bit of everything on this video, not just uh, operations here. I figured I'd talk about uh, some things on the layout here. I am going to be working on uh, little hills for this section. I think uh, that corner right there is going to get covered with uh, little grassy hills. We'll have some hills over here in the background and a little one in the foreground right here, which is why my grass kind of looks crappy right there because... Uh, after I did the grass, I decided to do the hills, so I kind of scraped up the grass there. Let's watch this guy roll through here. Like I said, I have been working on uh, JMRI. I still got to get the couple of the kinks out of it. And you may notice, got a new flat over there. Uh, just got the shell of it built up there. 
it's not going to be an industry to, that gets served, but uh, just wanted something back there. These two corners, this one and the one back where I'm going to do the hill. It just always bothered me. You know, those corners are kind of finicky. Ooh, don't forget to honk for the horses. A little difficult trying to figure out what the heck to do down there in the corners. Here, right there is good. Engineer Rick. Right, we'll get our uh, turnout changed over here. Yeah, so now that I got a little bit of extra time on my hands, I've uh, started to update the uh, layout. And just doing little things here and there, like I said. I'm gonna try doing some uh, hills back there. Over by the yard lead, and uh, kind of pretty, pretty the place up just a tad. I did do quite a bit of, uh, oh, let's just say, reballasting down here in uh, Huntington Beach. Ooh, look at that, I'm already screwing up. I took the wrong turn over here. We got to back up. That's the way it goes. All right, there we go. Now we can head down the correct main line here, or, or run around. I don't know which way to call this. I guess what we're taking now is the run around. So uh, the right hand side is going to be the run around. I gotta, I gotta finally. <laughs> finally solidified what it, the heck I'm going to call that. It's kind of odd because uh, coming in over on this end, this one kind of looks like the main line, but uh, over in Huntington Beach, uh, this one kind of looks more like the runaround, so that's always confusing me. And, like I said, while we watch him run down here, I did do a little bit of reballasting and rework in this whole area. You can kind of see the new section here. I wanted to sort of touch it up, let it uh, get it looking a little bit more better, I guess. I don't know if that's the right, right way to put it. But, uh, put in a little bit of static grass right there, and... Ooh, right there's good. Get disconnected over here. Yeah, put in a little bit of extra static grass here and there, things like that. And uh, actually moved our vagrant that we had over in the wooded area. If you saw my uh, little post there, I ended up putting them over here. He's hanging out down here underneath the little uh, makeshift uh, tarp tent down in Huntington Beach. So uh, we got to watch out, make sure we don't run him over when we come down this way. All right, let's. Uh, we got disconnected here. I'm going to change my other turnout. We're not going to be too formal here today. Taking it easy. Just figure I'd run some trains and uh, have a little bit of fun here. We get our run around done over here, and uh, We'll head back up the other side and get our pickups over here. We've got Carl already hanging out right here. All right, there's good.
Yeah, so this little section here is what I was doing yesterday. I had it all wetted down, put put down just a little bit more um, dirt and grout and uh, ballast, and then I was spray painting it. You know that uh, Tamiya buff goes a long way there to kind of try to match it up with uh, sort of the rest of the area. Let's come back here. We'll get our uh, get our turnout changed. I also did, uh, while I was gluing down uh, grass, I did glue down a little bit down here to hold the uh, tank car and then uh, over in our other uh, Atherin facility, put a little grass down in the, uh, in the track right there, like so. So now the cars don't roll down the uh, sort of mini little incline I have right in those two spots. Hey, so speaking of JMRI, um, I still got to set up my uh, staging area. Or, or well, I guess the staging locations. I got well, one location. I have the one staging area, and I got to figure out how to had to get the cars routing correctly because you know I want cars to go from staging into uh, into the yard, and then the local takes them out to the industries here, and then drops them off, and then does pickups. And then I want the cars that come back on the local, like uh, we're going to have these two loaded uh, lumber cars. I want them to go into a particular track. I, I have the arrival and departing track in the yard, and that's where I want them to go to. But JMRI keeps kind of making the training cars come back in, coming back from uh, the lo with the local. It has me putting them into all these individual tracks, so I still got to work on that. And then I got to figure out how to uh, how to get the cars from the yard that are going to go out to staging. So still working on that, doing a little bit of reading as usual with uh, JMRI. It's not it's not completely straightforward. All right, let's hold right here. All right, Carl, ready to go or what? Get that blue flag out of there. blocking the street here Ooh, easy 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 oh man come on we didn't get a good connection there let's, uh, let's back it up over here hold on gonna have to Touch up the uh, the graphite. Gonna have to lubricate these uh, lumber cars. All right, here we go. There we go. Now we got a good connection. And you can see uh, I gotta work on those couplers there. They're not exactly uh, at the correct height. Let's see if we got them. And yeah, good enough. There we got them. We'll pull these two guys out and uh, stage them down at the uh, other side of the street there. And we'll do our two uh, empty drop-offs, <laughs> kind of backwards there. I got to play play around with the, uh, I guess, the loading and all that stuff. Something that I didn't do before, which is probably why I eventually I just kind of gave up on JMRI back in the past, because, uh, eh, you know, I have a short attention span, unfortunately, so uh, I only get so far, and then uh, I tend to move on to something else. 
but I'm kind of committed. <laughs> that doesn't sound very reassuring, but I'm kind of committed to actually getting JMRI fully set up because I do want to have it uh, doing what I want it to be doing. So I'm going to have to play with, uh, you know, industries getting uh, loaded cars and having uh, pickups done that are unloaded and, and that way. Vice versa, depending on the industry. break right here of course I'm watching a virtual rail fan we got a train going through uh, Cajon Pass there of course it's a container train boring and don't get me wrong I, li I like seeing the container trains too but uh, I don't know mixed freight it's a little bit more variety. I find it, uh... I like seeing trains with all the different types of cars and stuff like that. Container trains kind of, eh. Once you've seen two cars go by, you're good. Right, it's a little bit farther over here. There we go. Swing the camera around over here. We just do these two drop-offs right here and uh, we'll be done at least down here in Huntington Beach bright and sunny over here on the camera. Yeah, our marine layer is just starting to break up over here. Ooh, right there is good. There we go. After doing this whole section right here, gluing and everything, I had to clean out the, uh, you know, clean out the track. Did a test run uh, with the locomotive through here, make sure everything was uh, cleaned up enough. A honk for the vagrant. Car to go. Yeah, Daryl do. Let's cut these guys off and then uh, we'll head back up to uh, Sanford and Sons. We'll be dropping these guys off, these two box cars. Let's go grab our two pickups and uh, we can head back up north. 
Now, I was playing around with the uh, the off spot um, for uh, Sanford and Son. If you recall, uh, that industry, we'll take a look at it once we get there. It, uh, it has two spots within the industry where cars get uh, serviced, loaded and I guess unloaded. And then I wanted to do uh, an off spot, which is uh, just a spot off of the uh, outside of the industry, but still on the spur. That, uh, oh, please get a good connection. Yeah, I think we got them. Anyway, that uh, we can drop a car off and it'll get serviced by the next train coming by, meaning uh, the off spot car will get put into the industry. So I finally got that set up. And, and I've done off spot cars before in JMRI, but uh, you know, I, I forgot how to do it, so I had to double check. But uh, yeah, you gotta. It's a little finicky there. You have to actually go into the spur and then you create another one and uh, from this. It's not the simplest thing. It's not uh, pretty straightforward. Or I guess it's straightforward if you know how to do it. Let's put it that way. But anyway, I got the, I got the off spot set up and I got the car in the right spot. So uh, here's our industry. We got the box car and the first gondola there. Those two are getting serviced. And uh, this one here is outside the industry. So it has to get uh, it has to get moved into the industry with this train. And that's what we're going to be doing here. And I just realized. We don't have a we don't have a load inside of here, so here's my makeshift load. Just a bunch of parts and pieces on a on a little uh, little thingy. There we go. Now it looks like we actually have a load in there. All right, we're gonna stop right over here. We'll get disconnected. Uh, let's see, how do we do this? No, actually, you know what? We're just gonna go, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna grab our two pickups first and then respot our uh, our little empty right there. And I'm not sure if this is the quickest way to do it, but it's the way that I'm doing it. There was right there, right there is good. Hold on. I'm not sure if I'm adding an extra move here, but hey, we're not in a rush. Ooh, right there is good. Hold on, hold on. We don't have a lot of space there. There we go. As usual, I really didn't think through the uh, the moves over here, but uh, hey. Like I said, we're not in any rush. The more moves, the more fun. Yay. Trying to find a spot for my camera where I'm not breaking things. way here yeah, you can see a little bit more I'm gonna kind of cheat here a little bit change our turnout back there since I forgot to all right right there is good 
So we got our two pickups and we got our uh, our empty gondola we got to put back in the industry. So one turnout back there that uh, I think eventually that'll be the first one I either do a tortoise or at least do a do a little uh, switch on the uh, fascia where I can get to that uh, that turnout over there because I'm just wrecking this tree over here constantly hitting it. Right there is good, good enough, because we're going to shove it back uh, with our two uh, box cars too. And just enough for me to clear the uh, the cypress trees over here and the power lines so I don't break them. Holy mackerel. get to uh, enjoy this little switch in operation here and we'll get rid of our uh, two loaded uh, lumber cars and then we can finish shoving in and head back to the yard there we go Got a good connection back there Deer is good. Whew. Sorry, trying to maneuver the camera so you can actually see something. Too, so the uh, the TTX boxcar is going to be in the off spot position now, which is uh, outside of the industry there, right at the dead end of the street. A little bigger picture here. Oh, Ten feet to go. Right there is good. All right. First time we get a. Get behind the bushes and everything and the power lines. Oh, brother. Without breaking in any, any of these uh, power poles anymore. There we go. Yeah, dogs are... Dogs are barking over here by the... Uh, Corral. See, I even got uh, I even got dog simulated. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I think I'm going to move uh, move that turnout. Uh, updating that turnout with a fascia switch. Yeah. Higher up on my uh, to-do list. I even have the lights uh, wrong on my uh, locomotive. Oh, come on. Seriously? The next thing I'm going to do is, as soon as I'm finished with this video, I'm going to grab 
these lumber cars and I'm gonna put some graphite and uh, tune up their uh, couplers here all right we're off so we're coming back to the yard with four pickups so that is how that little off spot works right there I'm trying to think of what else I did on the layout. I think that's pretty much everything. We got the uh, we got the vagrant moved down to Huntington Beach. I got the new flat over there. I still gotta get it decorated. Just kind of updating some of the uh, some of the buildings, like this one here, Shasta Beverage. It was looking pretty uh, nasty. My little printed out, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, fascia on it, uh, was looking, uh, you know, starting to peel off and everything like that. So I got some more glue sticks, and they just kind of re-glued everything down on it. And no more vagrants over there. Somebody said they never saw the vagrant. He was sitting right there. So uh, you really don't see him unless uh, unless you look really hard. But like I said, he's moved down to Huntington Beach now. All right, I'm going to back out of here and hopefully not trip on anything. We'll watch the uh, train come in here. Promise he's coming. I just gotta set my uh, track here for the correct track. I'm sorry, swinging the camera all around. salute there to the flag all right guys we'll drop these guys off over here and then uh, I'm gonna get back to uh, well first off touching up the couplers on these uh, wood cars center beam cars and then I'm gonna go play with uh, JMRI a little bit more see if I can't uh, figure out uh, how to get these guys coming in on the correct track because JMRI had me splitting up these four cars and just had me putting them in all different tracks but I want them to all come in on this track and then uh, and then get taken out by the uh, the hauler all right guys hope you're having a good weekend and uh, I'll see you in the next operations video uh -huh.